so for you as part of that journey, one of the things that's always fascinated me with artists is you have some of the darkest days as actors. You, it's like waiting, you're always waiting yes. for something, the call, it seems like you were perfect for this part, but yet it went to someone else, or this movie was supposed to make, be all the difference and then no one sees the movie. How, take me through that for you. How, yeah. how yeah. is your process? How do you stay motivated and stay focused? Yeah, you know, really, again, I had no plan B, you know, that, that, so this was it. Um, you know, I remember bussing tables at a restaurant and getting recognized for Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles from somebody who was, I was giving, and they were like, weren't you in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? And I was like, yeah, would you like some more bread? Yeah. So that's kind of surreal, you know. Um, Sarita Shaduri, who I, I, I was, we had a relationship for a long time, she was still bartending when Mississippi Masala came out, I remember, and getting recognized everywhere, you know? And so, um, yeah, it's a weird life, you know? You, 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 I had this low budget, uh, I had this low rent place that uh, Lizzie Bracco and Aidan Quinn were subletting to me. And it was 480 bucks a month. And that's how I could afford acting lessons and I would, do restaurant jobs and occasionally get a TV commercial. And there's a lot of, yeah, there's a lot of crazy rejection and weird feedback, you know. Too many props, you know, stuff like that. Yeah. What was some of your early feedback? Well, I was probably doing a lot of schmacting and I would, I, um, <laughs> you know, as you can see, um, Mally Finn, who's, who's gone, uh, she cast Green Mile, and I used to have this thing where, yeah, she, she, and she was such a great casting director, and she brought me in, and, you know, she was bringing me in straight to the director, so I was at a point where I would, I was sort of, Mally knew me, and, and I would have this thing where I'd pretend that I wasn't um, prepared, so that they would have low expectations or something. So, she said, have you read it? And she had all these headshots all over the floor with her assistant. And, and I said, uh, yeah, yeah, I took a look at it. She says, what do you, well, you know, it's a Southern accent. You, you know, so you have, you're meeting Frank Darabont, and so you have to be prepared. And I was like, yeah, I'm fine, I, I got it. And, and then I went into the bathroom and started having a panic attack. <laughs> so I realized she had high expectations. And then I went in there, and I was very tense. And then Frank said, well, what do you think? And I said, well, I think I could have more fun. He says, well, do it again, have more fun. And then I did it. And then, like, I got the job, like, two weeks later. So it's, it's a lot. You know, sometimes I'd listen at the door to the person who was in before me, <laughs> see how it's going, you know? And that can backfire, because they might be, ha, 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 you know, you're laughing, and, you know, so you never know. But, uh, yeah, 